Good day, fellow. Setso is back. Today, I'm going to continue with you with the concept of Coulombs. Coulombs? No. Don't forget the formula given by F, K, Q1, Q2, and R square. But the two dimension. It's like I'm going to give you this diagram let me draw this diagram somewhere here if let's say i have q one q two q three see like this you see let's make this one q let me write here q one we have q two Somewhere here we have Q3. Then Q1, let us make it to be one micro coulomb. This one, two coulomb. This one, three. Three micro coulomb. We have negative, positive, positive. Okay, it's fine. Then let's make it 10 centimeter. This one, let's make it 50 centimeter like this now we have a two-dimensional figure we want to figure out the net electrostatic force that acts on q2 you see the net then oh let me write here the net electro static force that act 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 on q2 which is this one you see then same again we need to figure out what a free body diagram i take q2 and q1 they are going to attract eventually this one is going to move to the left or Q2 like this uh, or let me just draw this free body here then it's going to move to the left like this let me call this one F1 see then if I take F2 with F3 same going to attract but this one is going to move upward. Let me call this one F2. Like this. Now, now we have sort of like a two lines that meet at an angle of 90 degrees. You see, that means for us to figure out our F net in this case, we are going to extend a line like this which is going to be our f net you see now we have a situation which is like this see which is like this now our f net is going to be this one in this case see we have f1 and f2 here you see then our F, let me say F net is going to be this hypotenuse, you see? Then we know that first thing that we must figure out is what is our F1 together with F2. Immediately after doing that, we are going to use the theorem of Pythagoras, which is given by F net squared like this f1 squared plus f2 squared sorry f2 is squared like this then we can then substitute and figure out those things you see but firstly let us go and figure out our f1 we know that f is given by k let me say 1 q1 Q2 R squared. You see? 
what is our value of k you know that k won't change it will always be 9 times 10 to the power 9 q1 where's our q1 we have now for q1 we have one micro it's going to change into minus six kilo you see we take this value place it here times 10 minus six kilo then for q2 it's negative see q2 is negative two we change that micro into times 10 minus six but when it when we take it to the formula just omit those negative sign then it's going to be minus six like this then we divide everything by okay centimeter we need to change that 10 into so that centimeter into meter we divide everything by 100 because the centimeter you see we divide by 1 100, then we are going to get 0 0,1 meter which is 0 0,1 close your square like this then you take your calculator you figure out the value of this you must get 1.8 newton you see then now we know the value of f1 let us figure out now the value of F2. Same formula. Uh, let me write here. Now let us say F2. We have K, Q2 now. Q2 and Q3. We have R squared like this. Then the value of K is going to be 9 times 10. 9 then the value of q2 we already have it but omit those negatives go going to be 210 minus 6 our q3 we take the positive 3 because it's micro going to be 10 minus 6 we close then we have we divide everything by okay same we have 50 let us divide 50 by 100 you must get oh sorry about that light you must get 0 comma 5 meter let me double check as well 50 divided by 100 yes get same thing 5 then you square like this then okay I have some space now we have to take our calculator at this point and try to figure out now the value of the entire what are you going to get now if you take your calculator and try to let's see we have nine ten to the power nine we also have two times ten minus six also three times ten minus six we divide then square don't forget to put that square then you should get zero comma one four four Newton, you see, like this, we get these two values. Let us make our left to be negative. You see, on this one, you'll see, on this one, this value, this value, let us make it negative to indicate that is going to the left then this one is going up there is no need for us to put plus it's positive anyway but okay at this point we know 
the value of of f1 we also know the value of f2 we can then say let me erase let me erase uh, okay let me erase somewhere here I just need or oh, somewhere here you see we know that f net for this one is going to be f1 squared plus f2 squared like this you see what is the value of f1 you see then since that f1 is going to the left let us indicate with a negative sign like this to show that it go it, it goes to the left you see or you can further say 1.8 and indicate left this one let me say up what see but on your mind you should not forget that this value is negative then when we substitute it's going to be f1 let me open the bracket negative 1 comma 8 we close like this then we open bracket we have 0 comma 1 4 4 the squared here we have f net square for us to find f net we need to remove this square by taking the root both sides like this you see then at this point we need to take our calculator and try to figure out the value of the entire thing see then we must get 1 comma 8 and we say f net this one is going to be f net like this then you can just write it like this let us figure out this one so we're going to say negative 0.8 you close then you squared plus open bracket 0 comma 144 four. you close then you square I get 3 then we write 3 comma 2 6 let me say 0 7 see like this then let me find this value and see what is going to be 3 comma 2 6 0 7 we get f net to be one comma let's say eight one newton like this the value of hypotenuse will always be positive don't forget that don't forget that you see then we have managed to figure out the value of net electrostatic force then let me ask you this question the direction how would you figure out the direction of two dimension because we won't say left or right or up or down this one we have to figure out this angle you see how then are we going to figure out that angle let me erase how are we going to figure out that angle sorry we know exactly that this value is negative 1.8 which is f1 this one f2 which is 0 comma 44 you see then it is situated in second quadrant like this let me draw you see we need to figure out the angle from this till there how are we going to do that since we have our opposite 
and also our adjacent we need to take tan we are going to say tan not angle instead tan ref angle why do we say ref angle cause this value is negative when we substitute i'm going to omit this negative you see then it's going to be f2 which is my sun they say fy you see but i named it F f2 when we continue with f2 sun they say this one is fx but i've named it f1 okay we have 0 0.144 divided by 1.8 you see then tan like this ref angle you see the reason i say ref angle because i omitted this negative you see i don't want to get a negative angle then take your calculator and figure out the value of ref angle you must get 4,57 degrees this is your ref angle you see for us to figure out the entire we are going to say now 180 minus this value you see in some ways do you see this angle is going to be this one for us we need this one then you say 180 degrees minus 4,57 minus 4,57 sorry 57 you must get you must get 175,43 degrees this is our final answer you see i hope you understood and thank you Enjoy as well.